और रघुवंश में राम आदि के रूप में आविर्भूत होते हैं प्रकट होते हैं और पुनः भक्तों की अंतर इंद्रिय भक्त कने अंतर इंद्रिय थे और बाहर इंद्रिय थे स्वेच्छा पूर्वक स्फूर्ति अथवा अनुभूत होते हैं उसी प्रकार सचिदानंद रूपा उनकी स्वरूप शक्ति सब प्रकार भक्ति भी स्वेच्छा से ही भक्तों के अंतर इंद्रिय और बहिर इंद्रियों में स्फूरी या अनुभूत होती है किसी कारण की अपेक्षा नहीं रखती भक्ति कृष्ण मतो सचिदानंदमयी गोपाल तापन उपदेश देते बोला गई थे विज्ञानानंद खन आनंद खनन सचिदानंद दई कर से भक्ति योग जो विज्ञान और आनंद की खनी भूति मिलती है वही श्री कृष्ण सचिदानंद रूपा भक्ति योग में प्रकाश पाते हैं यदि भक्ति सचिता मंत्र न हो तो तो कभी भी भगवान उसके प्रतिभूत नहीं होते इसलिए भक्ति सचिदानंदमयी जड़ इंद्रियों के भक्तों के जड़ इंद्रियों में कैसे प्रकाशित होती है जैसे ज्वलंत आग में तपकर लोहे का एक टुकड़ा लाल हो जाता है और आग जैसा हो जाता है और दहन करता है ठीक भक्ति भी भक्तों की इंद्रियों में तदात्म होकर जड़ी इंद्रियों में भक्ति प्रकाशित होती है और उनके जड़त्व को ध्वंस कर अपनी भांति सचिदानंदमयी बना लेती है यदि कहो जो भक्ति स्वप्रकाश है तो भगवान की कृपा से ही भक्ति प्रकाशित होती है नहीं ऐसा नहीं कर सकते भगवान के कृपा से क्योंकि भक्ति ही तो सब प्रकाश है भगवान की इच्छा जान करके वो अपने प्रकाशित हो सकते यदि कहो उत्तम आदि भक्तों के कृपा से प्रकाशित होती है तो ऐसा भी नहीं कर सकते भगवान की भक्ति को इसलिए सब प्रकाश नहीं कर सकते कि यदि भगवान यदि कृपा करेंगे तो पक्षपात हो जाएगा भगवान उस पर भक्ति दे करके करते हैं कृपा करके और उस पर नहीं करते भगवान में पक्षपात का दोष हो जाएगा और दूसरी तरफ भक्तों के तरफ में भी जैसे नारद इत्यादि भक्त हैं तो उनके कृपा में भी ये बात आएगी कि उन पर कृपा नहीं किया इस पर कृपा किया किंतु तो शास्त्रों में ऐसा कहा गया है भगवान के प्रति प्रेम भक्तों के प्रति मैत्री भाव और बालिशों के ऊपर में कृपा और जो भगवत विद्वेषी उनके प्रति उपेक्षा ये मध्यम भक्तों के अधिकार का कार्य है जो मध्यम भक्त है इसलिए वे बालिशों के ऊपर में कृपा कृपा करके भक्ति जो देते हैं या उनका पक्षपात नहीं इसलिए भक्ति कैसे होती है 
ऐसे मध्यम अधिकारी लोग सब लोगों को बुलाकर और उनको भक्ति प्रदान करते हैं क्योंकि इनका अधिकार है देने का जब वो देंगे तो हो सकता है कि भगवान के लिए कृपा हो जाए किंतु भक्ति असल में मध्यम भक्तों के कृपा से ही
then one can realize Krishna's nature. Then some question may come. But if bhakti is independent, then we then bhakti must be dependent upon Krishna because nothing is independent of Krishna. The answer is no. Bhakti is not dependent on the mercy of Bhagawan. Because Bhagawan's mercy is for everyone, therefore it's not that Krishna gives mercy to him and not to him. Otherwise the fault of Pakshapat, the fault of partiality will come in Krishna. Therefore that fault is not there. Then someone will say, but Bhakti is dependent on the mercy of a devotee? The answer is also no. Because Uttam Bhakta. Because Uttam Bhakta is equal to everyone, therefore Bhakti is also not found by His mercy. Otherwise He may also have be criticized for having partiality. Therefore the conclusion is that Bhakti is attained by the mercy of a Madhyamadika. He has the adhika or the qualification to distribute that bhakti. Because he has prayer towards Bhagawan, Iswaratada Denishu. He has friendship to those on the same platform as him, Kripa Maitri, friendship. To those who are less than him, <coughs> Kanish Dadikari, that, that Madhya Madhikari gives mercy. And to those who are envious, that Madhya Madhikari will avoid them. Therefore these four symptoms are present in the Madhya Adhika. Therefore by the association of such a Madhya Madhikari one achieves Bhakti, there is no other cause. Jatricha Sabde Dekha Jadi Bola Jai Kono Bhagya Dwara भक्ति पाए यदि माना जाए ताले भाग्य की सत्कर्म द्वारा शुभ कर्म द्वारा एक ही भाग्य उदित हो यदि वो शुभ कर्म द्वारा वो भाग्य के स्वीकार करा जाए ताले भक्ति शुभ कर्म में अधीन हुए ऐसी दशा में भक्ति में कर्म की परतंत्रता का दोष स्पर्श करता है शुभ कर्म ना होने ताले भक्ति हो न ताले जो शुभ कर्म है अधीन भक्ति हो जाए सभी शास्त्रों में भक्ति को स्वप्रकाश कहा गया है इसलिए यह ठीक नहीं सभी श्रुतियों समितियों में भक्ति को भगवान की भक्ति सचिदानंद और स्वरूप शक्ति की वृत्ति कहा गया है और तब भक्ति को परतंत्र मानने से उसकी सब प्रकाशिता को अस्वीकार करनी सूची बचनों की अवहेला जनित अपराध हो जाएगा द्वितीय यदि उस भाग के ना भी अति भाग्य न यदि उस भाग्य को शुभ कर्मों के अभाव के जनित कहा जाए तो ऐसा होने पर भाग्य उदय होने का कारण अज्ञात है वह भाग, भाग्य भी असिद्ध हो जाता है जो स्वयं असिद्ध है वह किसी दूसरे का कारण कैसे हो सकता है और तृतीय यदि भगवान की कृपा को ही भाग, उस भाग्य का उदय बतलाया जाए तो उनकी कृपा प्राप्ति का कारण क्या है फिर उसका कारण क्या है उत्तरोत्तर कारण ढूंढने पर कोई निश्चित अवस्था न होने से अनवस्था का दोष स्पर्श करता है इसलिए यह भी ठीक नहीं चतुर्थत भगवान की है कि की कृपा को ही यदि भाग्य मान लिया जाए ये भगवान की कृपा ही के लिए है उसी से भक्ति हो गई तो उस सहायक की कृपा से सभी जीवों को भक्ति लाभ करने का सौभाग्य करना उचित है सभी जीवों को क्यों नहीं भाग्य हुआ भगवान की कृपा उसी के ऊपर में क्यों हुई इसलिए भगवान पर निष्पक्षता का कुछ आरोप लगता है ये निष्पक्ष नहीं है क्यों एक को दिया दूसरे को नहीं दिया यदि कोई कोई भगवान में विषमता का दोष नहीं है
क्योंकि वे भक्तों का पालन करते हैं और सुरों का श्रृंगार करते हैं तो उसके उत्तर में करते हैं दुष्टों को दमन करने में और अपने भक्तों को पालन करने में भगवान की जो विषमता देखी जाती है वह दोष नहीं बल्कि उनका महान भूषण है या उनके महान गुण का ही परिचय है क्योंकि भगवान में भक्त वात्सल्य गुण अनंत समस्त गुणों से ऊपर विराजमान रहता है विशिष्ट असुर के संहार में भी भगवान की कृपा होती है उनको कहा मुक्ति देते हैं संसार से क्योंकि भगवान उन, उनके भक्तों के विद्वेशों के फलस्वरूप असुरों की आत्मा अनंत काल महादुखमय नरक आदि का भोग करेगी वे कभी भक्ति नहीं प्राप्त कर सकेंगे इसलिए भगवान कृपा करके संहार के बहाने योगियों के लिए भी दुर्गत दुर्लभ मुक्ति उनको प्रदान करते हैं ये भगवान की भी कृपा है इसलिए सब विचार करके यही बतलाया गया भगवत भक्त जो मध्यम कोटि का है उत्तम नहीं मध्यम कोटि का है वो भगवान के प्रति मैत्री कृपा वैष्णव के प्रति संभव मैत्री मैत्री भी तीन प्रकार की अपने से उत्तम यदि वैष्णव है श्रद्धा युक्त मैत्री हो बराबर वालों के प्रति यथार्थ में और अपने से कम वालों पर उनको संग दान करके उनको भी उत्तम करने की और जो बाली सता सब फालू है मायापाल का दोष जिसमें नहीं है ऐसे श्रद्धालु साधकों को कृपा करके ये फल देते हैं इसलिए अंत में यही निर्णय हुआ विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर करते हैं भक्तों की करुणा से ही कृपा से ही भगवत भक्ति होती है दोष इसलिए नहीं है कि मध्यम भक्त कहां से देता है भक्ति क्योंकि उनके अंतर में भक्ति है उसी भक्ति को दूसरों के हृदय में संचित करते हैं इसलिए इनकी कृपा में दोष नहीं कंटेंट में So that was very fast I could not catch everything. <laughs> Good yeah. Good. Yeah. You could say again these three faults. What? X to karma ka. The the three things I could not catch the second one. No no here what up here beginning. Super karma is ke baad oh I could is very fast. Super karma ke bara bhagya nahi ho. न शुभ कर्मों के अभाव के द्वारा भाग ये मेरे अंदर सजनांजन सला गया जब शुरू में तो मेरा प्रश्न हाउ टू गेट भक्ति एज बिफोर शिल गुरुदेव टोर भक्ति इज कंप्लीटली इंडिपेंडेंट इट नेवर अंडर कंट्रोल बाई एनी कर्म इट इज शुभ कर्म एन अदर कर्म सो गुरुदेव एज गिवन फोर रीजन्स वॉट इज दैट Shila Vishnath Yogi Thakur has told Yadri Chaya means if Shila Dr. Yogi Thakur is explaining that is bhakti come due to some good fortune is it okay or not Shila Chakur Thakur is telling by himself that if somebody can consider that by Subha Karma bhakti is manifested somebody's heart by good karma is भक्ति में मैनिफेस्ट हम बड़ी सार और 
by the absence of bad karma bhakti may manifest that this is not correct why not if so then bhakti is completely controlled by karma but by karma good karma you can get some good fortune by that good fortune by the shubha karma bhakti not possible because that bhakti will be controlled by under control by shubha karma but is not comp- not possible because bhakti is completely independent in never be controlled or dependent by shubha karma the second one if somebody can arrest this question that the absence of shubha karma then some good fortune will come if by that bhakti will come but it is not correct also why not because how that fortune is coming is cause is not known by anyone so he is when he is imperfect by himself then how he can make perfect to others so absence of shubha karma is not possible to arise bhakti also the third one if bhagavat kripa he if somebody thought that by the mercy of bhagavan someone can get bhakti that is not possible also why not because sri guru dev told that one fault will come called anavastha because bhagavan is equal to equal to all so if he bestow his mercy for bhakti and someone for someone not that partiality come for bhagavan so by the mercy of bhagavan bhakti will not arise now the fourth one ki bhagavan okay why not because we have seen sometime bhagavan is giving mercy to someone and someone he bestows mercy like just like who is able person bhagavan giving punishment to them and who is not able bhagavan is bestows mercy but this bhagavan is own quality is bhakta vatsal is controlled by his devotee then how bhakti is possible only by the mercy of his devotee devotee also three types uttam madhyam and kanishtha by the mercy of uttam bhakta bhakti is not possible why so because uttam bhakta equal to all is mentioned in gita the sunichayiva sabakecha brahmani hodi gospini by this law the uttam bhakta is equal to all and bhagavan also so by the mercy of uttam bhakta devotion not possible bhakti not possible by kanishtha bhakta not possible at all then how it is possible only by madhyam bhakta the quality of madhyam bhakta is mentioned in scripture ishare tad adhineshu baliseshu disat sucha prema maitri ki paapeksha ja karati sa madhyam the madhyam bhakta madhyam bhakti has some quality ishare means in god what he has been the madhyam adhikari has been for bhagavan and maitri means friendship for devotee and mercy for who is junior to him but he is completely divided from mayabad and who is against of devotee for them he neglect so this four quality of madhyam bhakta so if madhyam bhakta bestow his mercy then fault will not come in him so only by madhyam bhakta someone can get mercy in this circumstances somewhat not today we have told today as before someone asked this question to gurudev then our purvacharya naradrishi is uttam bhakta but is best to his mercy to nalkubar and monikri so we will think he is madhyam bhakta to the no our guru vargas they are not madhyam they are uttam bhakta but madhyam adhikar include in his heart so when he want to best to his mercy then he come down from his own stage come to madhyam then he best to his mercy he called all devotees and best to his mercy if he do so then fault will not come in him this is the mar- this is the quality of madhyam bhakta 
and Muttam also that he has praying for Bhagavan and Maitri for devotee. Maitri also three types means Maitri is friendship. The first one, Seva Yukta Maitri, who is senior to that Muttam Bhakta, he is render service to him with friendship. Then Maitri Yukta Maitri, who is equal level, their friendship, their bosom friend. And the third one, Kripa Yukta Maitri, who is little junior to him, is best to his mercy with Kripa, means friendship with their but with mercy, because he is junior to him, by these three ways of Maitri. Now Gurudev arises another question, from Hayar Maitra getting Bhakti, that he is donating Bhakti to others, Bhakti he is in his heart, so from heart he is infused to others. By this way, Srila Guru, they explain how someone can achieve bhakti. Anything else after that? Oh. And now, Guru, they arise another question. That Bhagavan is killing demons. It is not partiality or not fault in him. Why not? The demons, what activity they are doing, by that they may not be delivered from this Military, this material world, Bhagavan killing him and he is giving so good destination. What is not he achieved not by you? Atma, but he is physical. That Bhagavan not killing Atma, he is killing this physical body, he is removing this physical body and he purifies their soul and sends some good destination. What is not achievable by him, so easily even by Jogi also. Hare Krishna. Panchakal Bhutta Rupas Tethikas in Dukhaya Vasa Puritana Pavan. One question. It seems that uh, everyone, all living entities who come in contact with Krishna, whether they are positive or favorable or unfavorable, they receive some good merit, they improve their situation. Similarly, many examples are there from living entities who are against bhakti, but by coming in contact with devotees, they develop some favorable interest after repeated contact and they become inclined. So how can we understand this fact, we say bhakti is only dependent on madhyama bhakta, but still anyone who hears accidentally the holy name, he may not, he may be very materialistic, but after some time, repeated hearing, he may become very favorable. How can we understand this? This is my question. How? Where he heard that name? <coughs> Only by Madhya Mahikari. Because he goes door to door and preaches this thing. <coughs> the glory of Bhakti. You <coughs> say Rama, Rama, Panorama. Some benefit is there. By that bhakti will not come. Only by pure this Madhya Madhikari he will hear. If Uttam Madhikari he will come mercifully in Madhya Madhikar, then he will may do Kripa. So anyhow, anyone have to touch with Madhya Madhikar. Without this, anyone cannot have. But anyhow, you will have come to Madhya Madhika. Anyhow, by this, by this, by this, by this, <laughs> without them, who will tell you? Anyhow, you will have come.
Namabhas is very hard. Not so easy. Anyhow, we have to know the glory of Madhya Manika. Of his teaching 
is present in a few verses that Srila Gurudev and also our Srila Prabhupada often quote. That is, Anarpita Chirin Chirat Kurunaya Vatihar Namkalo Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other incarnation or acharya has given in a very, very long time. How long? Since the previous day of Brahma, many trillions of years before. And what is that? Unad Ojalarasam Svabhakti Sriyam. He came to give that highest uh, service to the jivas, the service to Srimati Radhika, and he came to taste also that service in the mood of Srimati Radhika because he's Krishna himself. I'd like to uh, take a few moments to explain that same principle from another verse. Srila Gurudev has just produced his Rai Ramanan Sambhad, which is a compilation of various lectures that he gave in Hindi over the last few years. There, in the first verse of Rai Ramanan Sambhad, Srila Gurudev translates, Swabhakti Siddhanta Chayam Ritat Chayam Ritat Team. That is, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is an ocean, Garadhya. He's an ocean that's fathomless, without beginning and end. He's an ocean of Bhakti Siddhanta. And there are four kinds of Bhakti. Krishna himself is an ocean of Bhakti. There are four kinds of Bhakti. Dasyuras, that is the relationship of servitorship. There is Sakyuras, the relationship of friendship. Then there is parental, the relationship of uh, mother or father relating with Krishna as son. And there is conjugal mellow, which has two parts. Swatantra and Padatantra. Or the love of Srimati Radhika, Lalita, Vishaka and the other gopis like that. And those gopis who are dependent, who are serving in the wake of those independent gopis, just like Rupa Manjuri, Rati Manjuri, and so on. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauravdir, is a fathomless ocean of bhakti, his own bhakti, or the bhakti of his devotees to him. He can be the taster of those relationships. He can be the object of the love of those devotees. So he has some theoretical knowledge. Krishna has some theoretical knowledge. He has realized knowledge of what it likes to be the taster of his devotee's love. But he has only theoretical knowledge of what it's like to be the reservoir of love. Like Mother Yusoda, as Srila Gurudev is explaining in the mornings. Or of his friends, or what to speak of the gopis. We hear that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Goda Hari, which means that he Hari, he stole the complexion and the mood of Goda, Gori, that is Shrimati Radhika. But Srila Gurudev explains that actually he doesn't have the capacity to do that. Shrimati Radhika is Sri Krishna's Sarva Lakshmi Mai. That is, she is the embodiment of all of Bhagavan's bhagya or qualities. She is the embodiment of his knowledge as well. So she is too much alert for him to steal her mood and complexion. So in Wales, Srila Gurudev explained that Krishna said to Srimati Radhika, I want to understand your love, what you see about me that I can't even experience. What is the glory of your love that makes me mad just like a leaf twirling in the wind? You're like the wind and I'm like the leaf. And what is the happiness you experience that's 10 million times greater than mine? Can I please borrow that consciousness of yours, that love? She said, yes, I'll lend it to you, but I'll also have to help you. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came 
with the complexion and mood of Radhika. But Srila Gurudev said, do you think he realized it right away? No, he needed the help of Rai Ramananda, who is the cloud which is infused with the power of the ocean of Bhakti Siddhanta. When the sun is there, the um, water from the ocean goes up into the clouds and then those clouds on a certain nakshatra, that is the Swati nakshatra, pour the water over that same ocean and make that ocean Radnalaya, which is also explained in this first verse. The ocean becomes full of jewels. So by the mercy of Srimati Radhika and her associates, like Vishaka coming in the form of Rai Ramananda, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became a repository of jewels or an ocean of realization of Srimati Radhika's love. And because Vishaka is born on the same day as Radhika, she has very similar moods. So she was able to help Krishna in the form of Mahaprabhu to understand her moods. Similarly, Radhika had to come as Sri Gadad, her pandit, and when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Puri, he went to visit uh, Gadadhar Pandit at Tota Gopina, and here his own pastimes repeated again. He heard Srimad Bhagavatam again from Radharani's point of view. No one can understand or explain her moods except for her. So in the form of Gadadhar Pandit, he explained it, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then became that same Gauravdir or ocean, but now full of jewels of realization. He got realization of all the rasas, the taste of his devotees, and even the taste of Palyadasi Bhav. Um, Rai Ramananda also revealed to him Rupa Nuga Bhakti. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tasted the love of Srimati Radhika and he also gave what no other incarnation or acharya gave previous to Mahaprabhu's coming one day earlier, the previous day of Brahma. That is, he gave this Paratantra love. In the Rai Ramananda Sambhad, Srila Gurudev explains there's no greater um, devotees as he explained tonight than the gopis. Of all the bridge bodies, the gopis are the best, and of all the gopis, Shumati Radhika is the best. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu now is tasting the love of Shumati Radhika. It isn't again that Krishna stole that mood. It isn't even that on his own Krishna wanted that mood, but rather she inspired him to want that mood because she is his knowledge personified. Srila Gurudev gave an example that suppose Radha and Krishna are walking in the forest. Krishna is very thirsty, but he doesn't want to admit it. So Radharani, knowing his mood, says, I'm so thirsty, why don't we stop for water? And he says, oh, that's such a good idea. So she inspires in him all happiness and brings out his desires. So Mahaprabhu, now tasting the love of Srimati Radhika, he can give that in the form of his devotees like Srila Rupa Goswami and his followers. He gave what no other incarnation gave before. That is, tat tat bhava ichchadnika. Not having any direct relationship with Krishna, but tasting all the moods of Srimati Radhika, as she tasted, whatever is in Radharani's mind, that's tasted by the Manjuris, and whatever is on her body, that's also tasted by the Manjuris. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give that. As you must have read in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Radhika is like the creeper, and is like the creeper going around the tree of Sri Krishna, and her leaves and manjuris and flowers are her different kinds of sakis. So, alone, she does not want to enjoy her relationship with Krishna, but she wants that relationship to be nourished 
by her sakis. They're nourished by her sakis and they're broadcast by her sakis. Sri Rai Ramanand, Rai Ramananda told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that without the um, association, instructions, and guidance of her sakis, no one can get that pure bhakti and enter into the kunjas and become the maid servant of Srimati Radhika, which is the special gift that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give. Now what Shula Gurde was explaining just now, how bhakti is in the heart of the bhakta, and that bhakti is the madhyama bhakta. But that pure bhakti is in the heart of the uttama bhakta when he comes in the role of the madhyama bhakta. The madhyama bhakta who is actually a madhyama bhakta, he can help the devotees by giving some instructions, but he can't give pure bhakti because he doesn't have it. The Kanista Adhikari can give Sukritis, but he can't give pure bhakti. The Uttama Bhakta can give the seed of pure bhakti at the time of initiation, that bhakti like a beach, and by his words of instructions. Srila Gurudev was teaching Manashiksha to a few English devotees about 10 or 12 years ago. And I was sitting in the front row, there was only about 10 of us. And then Gurudev looked down and said to me, this is Diksha, not the Anustanika Diksha of the Swaha Swaha, but the words of the pure devotee that uh, impregnates into the heart so that the devotee can enter into, or our Srila Prabhupada gave us the seed of Diksha, and Srila Gurudev is nourishing that seed and making it grow into creepers with so many leaves and then the insides of the leaves is Raghunuga Bhakti. So only the pure devotee can actually impregnate anyone with the seed or nurture the seed of pure bhakti. Otherwise the Kanista Adhikari can give Sukritis. And then he brings the uh, followers to the pure devotee who's now in the role of a Majjhima Adhikari. Just like uh, Narada, when he was in the role of Narada the Uttama Adhikari, he saw Kamsa as already serving Krishna. There's no question of preaching. To preach to Dhruva Maharaj and Prahlad Maharaj, he has to take the role of a Majjhima Adhikari. Therefore, Srila Gurudev, our Srila Prabhupada and all pure devotees they follow the principles. On one hand, they follow the principles of the Madhima Adhikari. They avoid those who are envious. They, um, if somebody is coming to them very innocently, they say, oh, what's your name? Oh, you're so intelligent. Here, have a love do. I think you're so qualified. You, you're qualified to take Diksha. Heard it explained it in this way. Giving mercy to the innocent explaining shiksha to those who are a little higher, relating in an intimate way of sharing realizations which those who are, with those who are equal, like Srila Gurudev did with our Srila Prabhupada and his Gurudev, although in the form of his Diksha Guru, when Srila Gurudev was telling him about Gopal Champu and how Jiva Goswami, Srila Jiva Goswami is so rustic, then his Gurudev, because he's so intimate with Srila Gurudev, his Gurudev began weeping uncontrollably because he knew that he understood his mood. So with those who are equal, they share realizations. And with those who are higher, they give their life and their heart and their soul and their net. And their net. Okay, go Raymond and Dina. Some question has come, so I am going to clear this point that Uttamadhika has also three stages Antar dosa, Ardha Vajya dosa, Vajya dosa. In Antar dosa, I mean inner stage, they, in Samadhi, they do Darshan of Radha Krishna. And in Ardha Vajya dosa, they are not in, not in Samadhi Avastha, not in 
in external condition. Sometimes they are talking, there is no link. And in external stage, they bestow their mercy and do Harinam Sankirtan. Just like I am giving example to clear this point, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has shown his Jaiva Dharma. When Babaji Maharaj was in internal stage, means Antardasa, then he is telling to see that indicating that uh, Mayabadi Sannas you later became Vaishnavadas, he told O oh, Raman Manjari, please stop this old monkey, otherwise he disturb the sleep of divine couple. At that time he was in internal stage. He is seeing his all past time of divine couple. After that he was weeping bitterly because that Leela is not manifesting her and he is coming in external stage. He is weeping bitterly at that time. And who is in Bhayadasa, external stage, then they are asking questions, he is replying all these questions. This three stages of Uttama Dikari, when they come in external stage, then we have to think he come down in Uttama Dikari to bestow his mercy for us. Another question, Pujaniya Samurai is told that Konishta Dikari, can give only Sukriti, Madhamadikari can give only Shraddha, Uttamadikari can give only Bhakti. Madhamadikari, she told, can give only Shraddha. Is this correct or not? I don't know. Yeah. What is told? Konishtadikari, Sukriti, Madhamadikari, Shraddha, not Bhakti. Can be both so, day before yesterday, Gurudev Mahasuli gives some an initiation. Now, now we will announce your spiritual name. When Gurudev will announce their name, don't clap at that time because nobody could not listen their name. Prior to that, I want to announce Bharatiya Bhakta Gadana Janna Golchi. Arati Pore Apandre Kaad Niyasven, Sripad Haridas Prabhu, Evang Tamar Krishna Prabhu, Kaade Apandre Basu Nambar Likhe Diven. Bharatiya Bhaktao Ke Liye Kaya Raya Hoon, O Lok Aap Lok Arati Ke Uparang, Apne Paska Kaad Le Aayye, Usme Sripad Haridas Prabhu, Evang Sripad Tamar Krishna Prabhu Basu Nambar Likhe Dengge. Bharatiya Basu Janna, Aami Kuchu Brahma Chari Ka Unrod Kochi, Tada, ऐसे कहते उपस्थित हो बैन एवं कार्ड देखे बासे एंट्री करा बैन जैसे कार्ड नहीं हमारे जायगा था क्ले हमारा उधर निभो मैं कुछ ब्रह्मा जो उन्नत कर रहा हूँ वो लोग अपने नाम के अनुसार बास के गेट पे खड़ा हो जाए और टिकट के अनुसार इसमें इंटरेंस दे जिसके पास टिकट नहीं है हमारे पास में जगह Tamal Krishna Prabhu, 3 number Vahas, Madhu Mangal Prabhu, 4 number Vahas, Madan Prabhu from Govardhan, 5 number Vahas, Subhav Sakha Prabhu, 6 number Vahas, Kunjabiyari Prabhu, 7 number Vahas, Satya Prabhu, 8 number Vahas, Abar Bala Dichchi, Haridas Prabhu, 1 number Vahas, Sambiyari Prabhu, 2 number Vahas, Tamal Krishna Prabhu, 3 number Vahas, Madhu Mangal Prabhu, 4 number Vahas, Madan Prabhu, 5 number Vahas, Subhal Saka Prabhu 6 number Vahas, Kunjabiyari Prabhu 7 number Vahas, Satya Prabhu 8 number Vahas. Hey Kram Pratidin Thakwe. Now we'll announce your name. Hare Krishna. We'll mention now the names of those of who will receive initiation the other day. Before announcing the names, Two short announcements. One is still registration is required for those who have arrived or have not registered yet. Please register in the back of this mandir and get your card, those who have just arrived. Then, oh yeah, and after RT there will be a possibility to deliver your passport tickets and other valuables for keeping safe during the parikram, you may be able to return that at the end of the parikram. 
Sripad Baikanath Maharaj will be on the inner courtyards of Gopinath Bhavan sitting there. And the children ask me about tomorrow, we go by bus again tomorrow, and after the discussion today, I think we all agree that there are many Madhyama Vaishnavas amongst us who can give bhakti, but no one can give bhakti like Sri Gurudev. So we are requesting, we are requesting all the Madhyama Vaishnavas, respected senior speakers, to guide us back to Gopinath Bhavan before 5 o'clock every day when we go out on buses. Yeah? So we are all surrendered from 5 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the afternoon to any speaker, but after 5 o'clock in the afternoon we want to hear from Srila Gurudev. Mangatram, please stand up from Karolva. Madhukantha, Madhukantha Prabhu, Ki Jai. David Yosef from Jaldi Jaldi Padho Padho. Dhruvada. Ajay Ahodya from London. Ajay Krishna Prabhu Ki Jai. Kamila Alenkar. The Olive from Brazil. Chandrika. Chandrika Das. Dasi. Dasi Ki Jai. Ratnavar Prabhu from West Bengal. Ramana Das Papi Sardar Balram Das Ki Jai Bama Deren Vaidya Palabhadra Das Ki Jai Tuk Tuki Tuk Tuki Vaidya Tulsi Devi Ki Jai Anuradha Devi Dasi from Mexico Anuradha Dasi Ki Jai Lila Sukh Das Prabhu from Costa Rica Lila Sukh Das Ki Jai Gitanjali Devi Dasi Gitanjali Dasi Ki Jai Elisa Benamali Indra Dasi Ki Jai Lina Amores, España Lila Oti Devi Ki Jai Lydia Williams from from Bath, England Lashika Devi Ki Jai Somya Kanta Kanti Dar from Bangalore Shyam Sundar Das Ki Jai Mrs. Bandhya Bhai from Vichitra Dasi Ki Jai Dira Haldar from Parga Why not another one? She is Vichitra or Vichitri? You are variety, Vichitra or Vichitri? Are you? Are you one? Another name. Another name. Subal Gandhu. Subal Sakha Prabhu. Subal Sakha Prabhu Ki Jai. Rekha Gayan. Same name. Sotan Paramani. Sotan Paramani. Sotan Paramani. Sotan Paramani. Sotan Paramani. Manju Paraman Manju, Manju Das 
वर्चिन वेबसर माधवी दासी की सरानी हलदार सुनारी देवी की जय कालीपदा कालीदास की जय दूत कुमार दामोदर स्टेफनी इजस फ्रॉम फ्रांस सावित्री देवी की जय रमन बिहारी रमन बिहारी दास की जय विवेक यदिंगा फ्रॉम डेनमार्क प्रजावाला रमन हुसैन रमन लाल मोहन ब्रजवासी सेम ने मोहन ब्रजवासी जगमोहन दास फ्रॉम वृंदावन जगमोहन सुंदर गोपाल सेम नेम सुंदर गोपाल वी कुमार विजय कृष्ण प्रेम दास अभिराम दास सेम नेम अभिराम दास हरिदास हरिदास दास सेम नेम हरिदास कमला दासी कमला दासी सेम ने फ्रॉम रशिया Elmira Suyan from Armenia Sochi Devi Dasi Anuradha Devi Dasi from Alashwa Same name Anuradha Devi Dasi from Brazil sorry Anuradha Devi Dasi from Brazil Lucia Helena Marotti Hemlata Devi Dasi from Brazil From Russia, all the body, name of Krul Das. It changes, will never change your name. Name is Krishna Karunya Das Prabhu. Madhu Mangal Das from Katarina Bur. Madhu Mangal Das from Russia, same name. Milazzo Ricardo, Germany. Madhu Sudanda. Achutananda. Same name, Achutananda. Nimai Patria Suarez, Brazil. Nimai Das. Kundalata Devi Dasi from Germany. Kundalata Devi Dasi. Chandra Banu Das from Poland. Same name Chandra Banu Das. Chandra Devi. Same name Chandra Devi from Patna. Rukmini Devi from Patna. Same name Rukmini Devi Dasi. Atma Das. From Uzbekistan. Atmadas Okhiles Das. Ibrahim Sultanov from Uzbekistan. Ibrahim Sultanov Sam Das. Kalipas Mandal. Okay. Durga Mandal. Sam Ne. Lux. Lakshmi Sardar, same name Lakshmi Devi. Lakshmi Kanta. Lakshmi Kanta Sardar, same name Lakshmi Kanta Das. Menaka Yara Sardar. Same name Menaka Sardar. Sukla Mistre. Sukla Devi Dasi. Yupi. Manju Gila Ishi Haas. Same name Manju Devi. Santos Haldar. Santos Haldar, same name, Santos Da. Babankur Burman. Boladev Das. Anil Othwal. Ananta Das. Kishori Devi Dasi, Pham. Kailasil, same name, Kishori Devi Dasi. Manoj Kumar, Paisoya, same name, Manoj Kumar. Pinodini Devi Dasi, from West Bengal, same name, Vinodini Devi Dasi. Renu, same name, Narendra Kumar, same name, Mina Devi, same name, Anita Gautam, same name. 
Sri Gurudev has many daughters and sons, and some have the same name. Savitri is very familiar, and Krishna Dasi, Krishna Priya. So, but there is only one Pichitra number one. Riva! Yeah. Hare Krishna, after five sacrifices, who has collected their arms, they can come, Guru's Bhajan Kuti, and offer their arms. Joker Parajana Dikha Koreshen, Tara Guru Deve Javar Pod, Guru Bhajan Kuti, they say, I'm going to Dikha Diven. हवन के बाद जिन लोगों ने भिक्षा संग्रह किया है कृपया क्लास के बाद गुरु जी के भजन कुटी में आकर के भिक्षा प्रदान करें हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, 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 